This patient with fairly severe levodopa-induced dyskinesias exhibits continuous and fairly stereotyped choreiform movements involving her entire body, more predominantly in the trunk, neck, legs, and hands. Okay, now tell me how old you are. When asked to try to suppress the movement, she's unable to do so. Hear you talk, okay? Can you count the months for me from January, January, February, March? Can you count the months for me? Diga todos los meses del año. Quiero oírlo hablar. Como is okay if it's in Spanish? Yeah. Diga los en en español el video. February, March, April. She said she forgot. Okay, say oh, it in sorry. Spanish then. Enero, febrero. Enero, febrero. Marzo, abril. Mayo, junio. Julio, agosto. Septiembre. Octubre. Noviembre y diciembre. Okay. And the doctor's office. Okay, I'm going to check part of her memory now. Okay. Now, can you tell me what's the day, the day, the month, the year for today? What about the month? Which month are we right now? September. Okay, the year? 2004. Okay. Now, can you... Put both hands in front of you for me. Ya, Are you able to? Okay. Open and close your hands for me. Here are the patients being asked to display rapid alternating movements of her upper extremities. Uh, these do not have a major effect on the severity of her dyskinesias. And she's, yeah. she's now yeah. displaying her gait. Okay, can you walk down that way for me, okay? And while walking, see you walk and persistent dyskinesias involve the head and neck and her upper extremities. There's a little bit of sideways lurching, probably influenced by the dyskinesias. I see.